Uh, was there anything that you guys talked about coming into this week to maybe try to make a little bit more focus and, and get the effort that you guys had tonight? Well, I think, you know, obviously, you know, anytime you're playing, you know, against NFL teams, you know, you want to, you know, put your best foot forward, um, you know, especially in a Tampa Bay game. I don't feel like, you know, we really ended that game, you know, how we necessarily started the game. Um, even tonight, I feel like it was a lot of things that we could clean up, uh, especially on first, second down. Uh, they were really within a lot of third and manageable uh, downs. Uh, they start to run the ball, get away from the tendencies that, that we saw on film. And so we just got to continue to adjust. But nevertheless, anytime you're playing a divisional team, it's always going to be tough. And I think at the end of the day, you know, if we can keep teams under, you know, 17 points, 20 points, um, I think we'll always have a good chance to win the game. Next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Tyron, congrats on the win. Anthony Hitchens shared with us in early November that y'all's goal is to hold the opposing team to 17 points. And, it's, you know, there were some rough weeks after that. How good did it feel to hit that goal, and how can you build off that for the rest of the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously it feels good, you know, especially when you win the game. Um, but like I just mentioned, um, didn't really feel like we played well on first and second down, um, even third down. Uh, didn't think we – feel like we could have got off the field uh, a lot more. Um, and so, you know, we'll, we'll get back in the lab. Uh, we'll focus on that. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I, I thought I thought we showed some character tonight, uh, just playing all four quarters, um, showing up to play football um, and, and not taking this opponent, you know, lightly. Go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Tyron. So I believe this is your second multi-interception games. How did it feel to get your hands on the balls tonight? Oh, it's, it's cool. I'm uh, just, you know, trying to focus on just catching them, you know. Um, I let so many slip through my fingers last year. So um, it's all about just looking the ball in, catching them. But I think anytime you you know, you have the opportunity to make a play, um, you just want to make it for your team. Let's go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, uh, Tyron, you mentioned, you referenced just a couple of answers ago about the character that you saw in the team. You know, you guys have been, been known for blowouts, right? But what, what do you see in these closer games? What, what do you feel on the sideline when you got interactions with your teammates and all that in these closer games? Well, I, I just, I feel like we're built for it. You know, um, you know, obviously, we, we, you know, I think we're built to, you know, beat teams by, by three scores too. But I think when we get in these tight games, um, I think, I think we're comfortable. Um, I think we understand what we have to do um, to, to kind of pull ourselves through. I think our coaches do a great job too, you know, of, of just staying even kill, staying balanced, you know, not being too high, too low, and, you know, just continuing to kind of push that that encouragement into us. And, um, you know, it's been paying off for us. And so, um, you know, obviously, you know, playing in December, you want to play your best ball. Um, so that, that's really the only thing that we're focusing on right now is how can we show up and, and be the best, you know, versions of ourselves. Looks like we've got three more. We'll go right down the line, starting with Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Tyron, on your two interceptions, what did you see there that gave you sort of an indication of where Drew might go with the football? And just what does it say about, you know, kind of being down yourself two weeks ago when you maybe had some opportunities to make plays in the open field and then obviously coming and responding tonight? Yeah, um, you know, I think, you know, obviously, you know, when you get to the end of the game, end of the football game, you know, most teams are going to run – their favorite route concepts. I think for me, you know, just studying a lot of film, I, I just kind of feel it. Um, and so I was able to kind of, you know, get underneath Judy on one of the plays. And, you know, um, you know, it's such a long season. Um, I think it's really important to take it week by week. And I think it's even more important to, you know, be hard on yourself. You know, obviously that there's critics out here and there's people that's going to say stuff. But, um, you know, I think, you know, for me, and no, no one is, is, is more critical of, of, them, of themselves than, than I am. And so it's all about me holding myself accountable and, you know, just realizing that, you know, not only can we all play better, but me personally, I can, I can play a whole lot better. The last two, Adam and Bach. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron. Um, you clinched the playoff spot tonight. Um, I know you have bigger goals than that, but do you take a minute to appreciate that or – do you feel like uh, it's time to move on to Miami and that's not really a goal that you have? Uh, to be honest, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I, you know, we're just trying to win every game, you know. Um, but I think anytime, you know, you know, obviously we're grateful, you know, very fortunate. I think anytime you're able to win 10 plus games in this league, I think it's always a beautiful thing. Um, and anytime you're able to kind of control your own destiny, I think that's special. Um, so for us, it's all about believing in that, uh, believing in our coaches, um, and then just trying to find a way to turn the page, you know, each and every week, you know, um, and, and find a way to get better. The last of Bahe. Go ahead, Bahe. 
Okay, Tyre, this is a little similar to Sam's question, but with each one of these wins by three points or two points or six points, did, does that make you stronger? I mean, it, it, each one of these things, does it do something for you in particular? Yeah, I, I truly believe so. Um, not only does it build character, you know, it builds trust too, you know, and you, you, you know, you may not play your best game, but, you know, if you're able to win the game and you go into that week realizing that, you know, wow, you know, you know, we actually trusted each other. We actually committed to each other. And, you know, that's the reason why we won the game. So, you know, I think for us is, you know, obviously we want to play well and dominate, but, you know, when we get in these tough spots and these critical spots, um, it's all about leaning on each other. You know, um, it's all about the offense and the defense and especially just all of us are together, you know, and as long as we can kind of keep that, um, you know, I think we'll always be, you know, a tough team to beat. Tyron, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining Thanks. us.